is up YouTube Mozzie back with another video man another dope video for you guys as always man make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't smashed it already make sure you smash that like button comment down below let me know what you think of the video let me know what you want to see on the channel man we are doing any and everything car related we got y'all man we are not no one trick pony so <laughs> man first of all shout out to everybody that subscribed to, to my channel man i appreciate y'all i love y'all a whole lot man because again without y'all that would not be no youtube channel man i would not be bringing y'all this content i wouldn't have the many blessings that i have because y'all and by me doing this i hope that this is pushing y'all to do whatever it is you want to do man understand it's going to take time to get to wherever dream you want to have understand it's going to take time to get there it's not going to happen overnight but i promise you every step that you take to get there is going to be worth it it's, i promise it's going to be worth it man so i appreciate each, each and every last one of those <laughs> Each and every last one of y'all, man, that subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to that 8,000 mark, man. And then you know what that means. That's, that's one more step closer to that, 10, that 10K. But, uh, so, I got a car for y'all. I actually been wanting to do this for a very long time. A very, very long time. Uh, now, let me tell y'all something. When we do these car reviews, when you see me and him in life doing these car reviews, you see him over there talking, man. You ready to do his thing. Hit me like 44. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell if you ain't done already. Do it right now before the video continues. Make sure you pause the video because the name will be right here in the bottom, right here somewhere in this section. It's going to be in the description below. So make sure you subscribe to that channel. But when y'all see us, when y'all see us do the reviews, man, I need y'all to understand something. We don't go home and study and, oh, you know, blah, 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 and know all these stats on the car. When we come out here, we do these car reviews, we doing it with y'all. We learning the car with y'all. When we come out here, we review them. For the most part, we know, I mean, we car guys. So, we you know, we know the normal stuff about the car. You know, stuff like that, horsepower, and things of that nature. We know that. We know that much. We know the difference between, you know, Scat Pack, Hellcat, 5.0, regular GTs, and so forth and so forth. You know, we know that. But when we come in here, we do these reviews. We not trying to study them, man, to sound like some smart guys, sound like we teach in a class when we come here and do reviews. We doing them, we, we reviewing it with y'all from a normal person's, you know, perspective. When they come and say, hey, I want to buy a car, and they go and look at the car and see all the details. That's who we are. That's what we do. So we reviewing them, we reviewing them with y'all as we don't go home and study them. When we put this camera on these cars, as y'all watching and learn about it, we watch and learn about it too. That's why y'all see most of us, we be like, dang, I didn't know that about the car. I didn't know this about the car because we learn them with y'all. And I feel like it's better that way and it becomes more authentic than it sound like we teach in a freaking class and it sounds all boring. But, uh, so, this car we've been trying to get for a long time. And shout out to the Dodge dealership and Watson Hatchet, man, for hooking us up with this car, man. So, I'm going to let y'all see it. We got a slow motion video coming up in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Hey, 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 Fives, man, 255. That's 10 more than a regular, um, a regular Dodge's RTs. Dodge RTs come with uh, 245, so he's got 255 and they 19s. But these look, I really like how these rims look though. Like these are dope. These are something I would keep these on here, like the stock, like 
if I was to ever get a car like this, I would keep these on here and just change like the color depending on what color I got it, you know. But I really like these rims. These are dope. And those are Brembo's. Then they don't have a sign on there, but those are Brembo's, which is, hey man, you can never go wrong with some Brembo's, brother. You ain't going nowhere. But yeah, it's 255 all the way around. But I like this. I like this paint job, man. That that's crazy. That is real crazy. But of course, man, 5.0 GT. This thing is something so serious. I really, I really need y'all to understand and how these cars, now this one is a 2019. This is the premium coupe, the GT 5.0 premium coupe. Now this has been beating a lot of scat packs, a lot of 392s. Now, the horsepower on this is only 460. Only 460 to the crank. So you can imagine that it's probably about, uh, you're looking at probably like 440, maybe 450. The 9450, that's a little too high. You're probably looking at like a low low four, low 400 something to the wheel. So it's only 450 to the crank. Now, the 392s are 485 to the crank. These are beating scat packs. I need y'all to understand this because this is a 10 speed and it's super, super light. So stuff like this is running scat packs down, down. But I like how that hood look. I like this. I like that. I really like that. And then you see the front, man. That thing look, hey man, I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie. That looks real aggressive, bruh. I like that. And then how they how they murdered out the Mustang sign. This thing is crazy. Now, let me tell you something. I do like the Mustangs that have like the little light that be right here. I feel like that is so sick. That is so sick, man. So I feel like that is hard. I feel like that is real crazy. But you see the keys right here, man. Now this key is actually pretty nice. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even stunt that. This key is pretty nice, but let's look at this trunk. Now look at this. This little trunk. Like you can't put it. You you probably judging by the trunk. I'm not gonna lie. You probably can put probably two cases of water in here, a couple boxes of cereal, and some bread if you go to the grocery store. But we need to check. We need to check this out. Cause this don't look good. I'm gonna tell you that now. This trunk spray does not look good, brother. Boy, I stand completely corrected. I stand completely correct. You can really get in here, bro. This is a, this is pretty deep, brother. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It don't look that big. Like, look how big the actual trunk is compared to the like the trunk top or whatever you want to call it compared to the actual doohickey right here. The space. This is crazy, bro. Like, look at this. Look. Y'all way back there. I can probably get in here. I'm not gonna get in here because I, I'm I, I gotta I'm I'm I don't like you know what you call it? I'm claustrophobic. I don't I can't be stuck in. in I, no, I'm not gonna do that to myself. But this thing is is crazy, bro. This thing is crazy. Let's go ahead and check this cockpit area. Don't mind that. Don't worry about that. But it's nice in here. It is nice in here. Let me tell you this. This car is real low to the ground. Now my car is not this low at all, but this car, this Mustang is very, very low to the ground. It feel like if you drive this, you feel like your butt can really drag the ground. But I, I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I actually like it. So I do like how like these are like, you know, like your hazards and stuff like that. And then you got your, you do that turn off your traction, the drive mode, and you can soften up how you know how the steering wheel feels from soft to like sport and stuff like that i feel like that's pretty dope that is that's that's crazy i never thought of nothing like that but this, this little the starbucks look look a little you know a little aggressive i like that brother okay you got a name you got a little space in here it, it ain't too bad let's fix that we gonna fix that uh i don't know for the concealed carriers like myself, I don't think my Glock 19 will act. You know what? My Glock 19 might fit in there, brother. But if you got a compact, you're going to fit in there just fine. I don't know why, but that that just... This little depart, this whatever this little section is, it just looks so dope to me. I, I don't know why. It just does. You got the back seat. Now, let me, actually, let me show y'all something. This is what I'm looking like, you know, for the, you know, me driving. So if somebody wants to sit behind me, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Can't nobody sit back there. So they shouldn't even, I know just for purpose wise, I mean, maybe your baby, your daughter, you know, son, like your baby's car seat can sit back there. But as far as a person, absolutely not. I'm not even finna risk my life. You know what? I am. I'm gonna do it for y'all. I'm gonna get back there. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna get on the other side though. I'm not gonna do it from this side. But I'm gonna get on back there. I'm gonna hey, get brother. Hey, this thing right here is not just for looks. What's not for looks, brother? This right here. That thing, what is it for? Talking about the engine yeah, seatbelt? Yeah, that's that, that that's that's that does something else too, brother. Oh, that's the one that's in the trunk. I know you can put that in the trunk and it, it it's the handling is better. Put this in the trunk. No, not that one exactly, but it's something like that. You ain't never seen it where they build it like a I seen that. Um, yeah. yeah. They say it's for the handling or the car or something. Brother, I think. But that one right there just for looks. You don't know. <laughs> I don't brother, know. I, I don't know, brother. I don't know. I don't think it's just I, for looks, bro. That's a seatbelt. Yeah. For yeah. the for the engine. Okay. So it don't yeah. jump out there when you when you blowing the doors off somebody and you engine be ready to jump out the no. car. It ain't gonna jump out the car because it got a seat belt. It got a seat belt. They got a seat belt. That's what we're gonna call. This is the engine seat belt. That's right the engine seat belt right there. Okay. 5.0. Back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hey, first of all, y'all don't quote us on that. I don't know. I'm not yeah, gonna say it. Yeah. Don't don't quote us on that. But let's go ahead and let these seats up right quick. So there we go. I guess that's all we're gonna get. So let's get on. Let's get in here. Lord Jesus. We in there. Oh. Whoa, brother, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, so, because of the camera, you can't really see it, but my head is touching his own the glass. So, I mean, it's not, it's, and you see where that's at, and that's for me driving comfortably. Driving comfortable, that's where that seat is at. So, this is not for no, <clears throat> no, nah, brother. If you got if you got any passengers, anybody want to ride with you, they got to either lap up on the front seat or they got to, they got to wait at the house, man, till you get back. Cause this right here, this is definitely not for nobody to sit in the back seat. So what we gonna do? We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna get out of here. And it's just too, it's too small for your boy, man. It's too small for your boy. And we gonna let this seat own up. Let the seat on back. Let the seat on back. Give it to me now. Let the seat on back. I said, let the seat on back. Go ahead and lay it back. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. I might have to stop doing YouTube, man. Start making music. I feel like that was all right. What happened? Man, a little song, brother. What you Make me a song. Let me, let me hear it. Because I was letting the seat back, right? Yeah. So the song is called Let That Seat On Back. I said, let the seat. On back. I said, let that seat on back. I said, let that seat on back. Let that seat on back. I said, I think that song is kind of kitchen. Hey. I think that song is kind of kitchen. Hey. I like that song. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like that. Let me tell you something. It's leather all through this car. And I really, I really, really like that. It smells, man, it smells beautiful in here. Let me tell you something. But I do like these seats right here. I feel like these are pretty dope, man. And they, and they actually they very like very very comfortable sitting in. Like sitting in this, man, y'all have no idea, bro. This this stuff feels real good. And then so I do like this steering wheel. This steering wheel looks real nice. I like this. Got a lot going on, but I mean I like it. it gives like a little sporty kind of look. I feel like stuff like this is how like NASCARs look with the little all the buttons right there. So it, it gives like a little like a little sporty feel, man. But what we is gonna do. We gonna pop this trunk. I mean, that, I said the trunk. We gonna pop the hood. I, Lord Jesus, y'all know me, man. Brother. Okay, so I found it. Okay, it didn't take me long to find it this time. I, I've got the hook, but I just can't get it up. Okay, there you go. Oh, I just had to pull a strength. Oh my God. Oh. So we got the little stick. I, uh, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. What's up, brother? I ain't got no seatbelt. You ain't got no seatbelt? No, I ain't, I ain't got no engine seatbelt. You wanna know why you ain't got no seatbelt? You wanna know why you ain't got no engine seatbelt? Why well, ain't got no engine seatbelt, brother? This engine don't produce the power mine put out, brother. You don't need a seatbelt. Brother, I ain't got no engine seatbelt. That, that's because this car is slow, brother. I don't, I don't like that, brother. Huh? I don't like that. You just ain't got enough power, brother. That's $10,000 off this car. I ain't got no engine seatbelt. Lord, 10000 10, hey, I, got, I got the stick, brother. Huh? You got a stick? I got a stick, brother. That's why I was holding it. That's why you holding Okay. All right. I wasn't putting it up, bro. I ain't, ain't gonna lie, brother. This, this is a little workout right here. Yeah, Doing this is a workout. It is. I had to make my mind real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to do that now. So, 
But uh, this is what it's looking like under here, man. That's where the 10-speed power is coming from, man. But this thing is insane. This this is insane. Like I would say that this would be the best daily driver, man. Me personally, I would get this for a daily driver. I would buy this. Like I would, I would definitely get this for a daily driver, man. Like I'm not gonna lie. I'm 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 serious. I would definitely get this for a daily driver. I would. This would be something I would drive. I would only drive my Hellcat like on the weekends only, and I would get this and have this at the daily driver. But this is about so you're looking at 19 miles to the gallon, which that, that ain't bad. That's, I mean, that ain't too bad. But it's only 47. I said 47. It's only 44. So about 45, you know, around that around that price range. I didn't mean to disturb you. Hey, brother. I didn't mean to disturb you. If brother. you don't mind, <laughs> I'm doing a review. <laughs> I'm doing a review, brother. Huh? But <laughs> so I was right, 47. Okay, so I was right after the window 10 and all that kind of good stuff. So it's gonna be 47,000 of them things. But I'm not gonna lie, like I said, I like this a lot, man. I would definitely get this as a daily driver. I would definitely put my car up, only pull it out on the weekends, probably only on Saturday and track days, and drive this on the day. Now, let me show y'all something else I feel like is insane about this car, man. This is really insane. Let me show y'all something. So, which I feel like, man, that is insane, bro. So you go here to the settings in the menu, right here. You go down to the settings. You click the settings, and if you can see right there, you can adjust the exhaust system, which I feel like is insane. So it's a normal mode right now. That's crazy, that was a normal mode. So. That's a normal. Let's go to quiet. For when you got them, them, <laughs> the neighbors, you want to pull out the garage and you got the neighbors that complain about you put it in quiet mode. All right, that was cute, but I'll probably never have it in quiet mode. Let's go to that track, see what we got. Uh oh. They gave us a warning, you know what that means. Anything with a warning means you got to have some power. So you can adjust the exhaust system. I feel like that is that's crazy, man. That's basically like having like a like a like a cutout, pretty much. You know, that comes with the car. So again, you can adjust from here the steering feel from sport, comfort, and normal. And then you have the modes. You got normal, sport, track. Okay, they gave us another warning. You know, oh, they cut that traction off, brother. They gonna make me get down through there drag strip which i feel like is insane and then of course the main one i feel like here in De in, in dallas texas you you absolutely need that you need a freaking a wet and snow mode so i mean that's that's crazy bro i feel like that is like the perfect in my opinion perfect daily driver i'm so serious perfect daily driver this is absolutely perfect bro he didn't drop the top what are you doing brother up, wait, wait! I thought you had a roof on there a while ago. I don't went stupid. You ain't, ain't, got, no you ain't got no brain. I ain't got no brain. Oh my God! Head blow out. So you get a disability check? Yeah, big one. Big one. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. But we just time, man, to test it out and see what we got, man. So we are gonna go ahead and put this in track. And we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that at all. We're gonna do that in track, and then we're gonna put this. And sport. So they say that it's 10 speed. Now, 10 speed, even though the 392, they shift real fast, extremely fast. That's why most people when they mount the Hellcats, they change the uh they change them out with uh with the 392s. 10 speeds, completely different ball game. So we finna see if this actually like let's see what the hype is about, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is for me driving a Hellcat. The way this thing is hugging these turns. <sighs> Bro. I really need 
need y'all to understand how crazy of a car this is. I need y'all to understand that. Brother, hey. I'll tell you what. Bro, I, I'll tell you what. I just said that. I said, bro. I said I have to get. A, I have bro, to get a Mustang, bro. They just gained the fans, bro. I'll tell you what. I, I just said. I said I can't speak for Camaro, but if you want your best day to drive it, get your Mustang. Man. You said you said you hit the hit them curves. That's bro. That's what I was showing. Them. Brother, I told bro, I'm, I'm like, bro, we're going 60 around the on curve. the curve, bro. On the curve and, it's, and I'm staying in the lane, brother. No problem. <laughs> But man, this right here, completely insane. Best daily driver, I promise, bro, to me. Get a Mustang. But before my camera dies, let me go ahead and end this video. Whoever told you the sky's the limit lied to you, man, because we know absolutely no limit whatsoever, bro. Look around at life, look around at all the businesses on, anything that you eating, wearing, driving. Somebody had a dream, somebody made it happen. So there's absolutely no limit whatsoever, bro. So let's get this money.